This is nuts. It's like coming down a lot. And he wants me to take out his 996 cup car. Good thing is, it's his left hand drive. So that means I should be more used to driving it, you know? told me that you were coming out, I'd never heard of what you do, uh -huh. then looked up, 800,000 followers. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm so appreciative of you bringing out your vehicle, letting me rip around on this track, which is, it's just so picturesque, it's so beautiful. It's a nice here. track, eh? It's a really good track. You guys really just hold down the fort when it comes to car culture in Australia. Yeah. It is incredible. I mean, I've been able to experience so much of it in terms of the drag racing, time attack, drifting, a little bit of the burnout competition stuff, but I haven't had a chance to look into any Porsches, but I just can't believe it. I met you for five minutes and you let me drive your 996 cup car. It's a car. Yeah, you're a, you're a car enthusiast. You're not gonna take it out there and wreck it. Yeah, you can tell you got half a brain, so yeah, why not? I'm gonna try not to, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but it happens, you know, yeah, if it happens, I, it happens, you know. I love these cars. You know, these and the 997s to me are kind of like the last analog ones yeah. that you can still see the engine bay. Yep. You could still, as just like a car enthusiast, I'm very candid about the fact that I'm not the most mechanically proficient when it comes to working on cars, but I still feel comfortable working on the 996 yep. and the 997 because it's still, yep. you know, you can still see the engine bay. <laughs> but the good thing about my 54, it literally, I can work on that, you know, spark plugs, ignition, that's it. Lift the boot up, there's only a couple of things that you can check, so. So what's the story behind this? Why do you have this cup car? Uh, I've, got a, I've got a few Porsches, as you'll see. Uh, I love the cup cars. I've also got the new GT3 RS, the 992. Porsche are making it for me in this color. This is my signature color. It's, really? Yeah, it's called Goodman Gray. It's actually got a um, code number of 356-23. Glazard have actually got it as a color on their color range. So Porsche are making my 992 GT3 in this color. So what's the history? Did this actually race yes, this as is a the, new car? No, this is a, a race car. It's run at Bathurst, it's run everywhere else. This was for a, a pretty big race team we have in Australia called VIP Pet Foods. I bought it from them and turned it back into my color and just use it for ride days. This is a pure straight from the factory race car. That's why it feels so good. Um, but this car here, we mainly use it, we do a lot of charity work for the children's hospital, so it's a perfect ride car. Like when you went for the ride in it, and we've done one the other night for Porsche Parramatta at Eastern Creek. So we take people for rides and usually with the charities, they charge the people to go for the rides or they give a donation and away they go. So then this is pretty much standard from the factory Com as a race it. car, yes. 3.6 liter, uh, factory transmission, all of that. Yep. And you just maintain it as a race car. I'm assuming you drive this so often, and this probably has so many hours on this. Yep. Just tr so many track miles. Well, it's even, you went in my Cayenne later on, uh, before, that's 100,000 kilometers in that car. <laughs> and uh, is that a lot of track miles? No, no, it's done a lot of track miles, but not all of them are track miles. Yeah, but we, we use our cars all the time, yeah. Th this one here probably goes on an average once a month, it's at a track somewhere doing something. So it gets a lot of time on the track. That is so cool. It's just so simple. How much power did these make? I'm not too sure the exact power. It'd have to be around the three, 350 horsepower mark. Yeah. That's pretty much what your butt dyno says, huh? What a great car. I love these so much. It's just, it's like the unloved Porsche, you know? Yeah, the 996, yep. Right, yep. but uh, I love them. I think they're great. I think it's amazing. It stops so good. And also on top of that, no ABS, no traction control, no nannies of any kind like just stopping in the wet here, it's, I could just feel it almost starting to lock up in the front and then you just kind of let off a little bit and then it stops. It's you done, for the first time in one of these cars, you've done a bloody great job out there. You know, so you sure you hadn't driven that car before? You go right <laughs> never, I've never, I've never driven a Porsche cup car. I've, I, I love Porsches. I've driven uh, quite a few road cars, but I've never driven a cup car. So it's such an honor, but uh, we're actually gonna check out your shop. Yeah, let's we'll go back to the shop now. Yeah.
Ron, what is this? This is crazy. This is just where we store the cars and we're ready to take them off. Okay, so when we were at the track and you were telling me that this is your gray color. Yes. I see that you weren't lying. Yeah, they're all great, they're all You're just so casual about all this. I, I, that's what I love about it. Let's talk about this car. This is a 906. I'd always wanted to buy one, but they're becoming out of everyone's reach and everybody with them doesn't want to sell them. So um, we bought a heap of original parts and then we built a car. We built it from scratch. So. From scratch. So you drive this on the track too? Yep. Yeah, as you can see, last time out, ambition outweighed ability. Had a little track incident, no yeah. problem. You built the whole car, so for you guys to fix it, it's not yeah, a big I leave deal. It, like that it gives it a bit of character. It looks like it's a race car now. None of my cars, uh, except for that one, are show cars. They're all, they're all driven, they're all track orientated. So what's the story behind this? This has such a crazy design. Yeah, this has all been painted by a Aboriginal elder here in Australia. Um, and we built this to take it to drive to Uluru, we're filming it for a movie that we're doing, and it's raising money for the children's hospital here in, in Sydney. It's for such a good cause. He even designed like yeah, some I stuff on Yeah, I put all that, that on there, yeah. Amazing. And we made this for, this isn't standard for a Porsche, but we just made this. Uh-huh. This is so intricate, this design here. Yep. And see all these hands? Uh -huh. That's That's something that the Aboriginals do in the cave, the cave painting. But all these hands are all my workers, my wife, everybody else, we cut the hands out. So everybody on here is somebody that done something on the car. That's great. To get it ready to go. Like just, it's so detailed, all the little dots. Yep. How long did it take for the paint Two job? Two weeks. Two weeks every day, just working yep. on this. And that was with three of them doing it. I love it. So is that your number, 23? Yeah. And the reason, I, when I used to run NASCAR or Speedway, we had 05. And here in Australia, there was a really good high profile driver that used to run 05 and he got killed. So really the number got put to rest or, or you look like a bit of a wannabe trying to copy it. So we went for 23, which is two and three, which makes five. So that's why we use it. Let's keep going. There's, you have so many cars here. I, I'm surprised. Well, I'm assuming you probably have more cars in here. So then tell me about this. It's a 9126 that we've built up, it's got big flares, big everything. This is, this is a, another track car, but we've turned it back to a street car. So it was a 912, but 912, you put a- Six cylinder in it, yeah, big banger six cylinder in it. We sort of used a bit of the old school, just the raw fiberglass on the dash, minimalistic on everything. And look at the door handles on that one, we changed those ones, we wanted something different as well. See so Oh. Like a drag car, so. Yeah. The seats are, so different. Yeah, I designed those seats and, and made them up a, a place um, in America called GT Classics, GTS Classics, they made them for us. I love the, that raw look. The fiberglass. Yeah, yeah the fiberglass. Yeah. You see them on a lot of old Porsche yeah. race cars. Yeah. yeah. This is just, it's just so finished. And I just love that it follows the theme. This is your next project car? Yeah, it's a 914 that we're building. But this one's gonna have a pretty big engine, V8 Chev in the back of it, so, so it should be like a Can-Am type engine, so yeah. it should be pretty big. It, they fit pretty nice. Yeah, in, in, in the 914, yeah. That one's a 9146. Mm -hmm. That 914 there, if you have a look in the back of that, we've made all turbos and everything for it. You love your 914s also. Yeah, I love all Porsches. See the injection tubes we made all the, for the back there? and then all the back here, but if you look under here, Whoa. it's all water-cooled, injected with a turbo. So what is this engine out of? It's a 914 engine, four-cylinder. So it, it weighs nothing, but it's got a lot of horsepower. So she's like a little, little go-kart, this one, like a little fast go-kart. How, how much power does this make? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that you had to just cut the velocity stack. Yeah, so it sits against the glass nicely, yeah. 944 S2, that one. Oh, I love these. It's like the unloved. Yeah, they're a well-balanced car, these ones. I can't believe that they're all matching. All gray. They all have that same color. The, the child's one, the, everything, even the little uh, toy ride there, that's gray. Yeah. 
What's going on with this chassis here? This is what we're, this is a 906 body, but we're showing people how thin the fiberglass is. So you can see that we're lighting it up so that it just shows the actual thinness of the panels. Yeah. Roll coach is only like three quarters of an inch. It's nothing, you know. Back then when they used to race Le Mans, race drivers were expendable. Like there's just no driver safety at all in them. Was this the era where they had to run to the cars? Yes. And they wouldn't even be belted in? Half the time, no. Are you going to run sport then? I was supposed to go this year, but just no time. We've got so much happening here in Australia, it just doesn't give me time to go over there. I've run Ren Sport in America a couple of times. Three, I think, two. Two I've done it at Monterey. You just love that track, huh? Yeah, I do. I like, I like, um, but my favourite one probably uh, would be Watkins Glen. I really like Watkins Glen. It's a fantastic track to run. This is just a 912. Uh -huh. uh, actually, we've had a couple of American drivers over here, Rensport Australia, that drove this one for me. Um, but if you look at, see the sign writing, that's all pure gold. Like all gold leaf, it lights up beautifully in the sun, you know. It's got a big banger engine and a four-cylinder, all original right-hand drive. I can't believe this is a track car. What's going on with this thing? Yeah, we made it into a Kluber wagon type look. Put some electronics into the back of it to make it look a bit military and... <laughs> Interesting. Oh wait, is this a real Porsche tractor? It's a real Porsche tractor, bullet holes and all. No way. This was somebody's like shooting yep. toy in their backyard? Yep, there's the ID tag down the bottom there for it. See on the bottom there, it's got the, the Porsche ID tag. I can't believe, <laughs> this is actually in pretty good condition. Yep, yeah, compared to the rest of the tractor. Are you gonna leave this the way it is? Yeah, I don't wanna do this. It looks too good the way it is. I think we, if we took the patina away from it, it'd lose its character. And the way it is, it looks good. Does it run? Yes. Just put a starter motor in it, one cylinder, it starts, not a problem. This is so cool. I've seen a couple of these restored. Yep, they're nice. But, but I've never seen an original one. No, she's a rich this one, mate. How many of these were even made? I don't even know. I couldn't tell you that, neither. This is so cool, original Porsche. You ever seen one of those, two Cushman? No, what's they that? Were used, they were used to carry ordnance around during the war, that sort of stuff. Suspension, little engine in the back. <laughs> you can imagine them zotting around everywhere with stuff on the front. This is incredible. I love all the memorabilia that you've accumulated yeah, over yeah. the years, yeah. You, like you have this Porsche tractor, brochure. Is that you? Yeah. Is that the NASCAR? Yeah, that's when I come out of it. That's actually on YouTube too, the crash. If you put in Ron Goodman NASCAR, it shows the crash. Was that nearby? Uh, no, Melbourne. Oh, okay. What track was it? Thunderdome. And it looked, all this stuff that you have just collected over the years. There's trophies that I've won, Tiffany in America. We've got a lot of trophies. It all comes with age, I suppose. Incredible. I love that you save all these like tech stickers and... You know, that, that window actually has got a, it's a funny story. Um, with one of my other cars at Eastern Creek, it's a big, long, sweeping left-hander. And my mechanic said, I reckon you should be able to hold it flat through there without lifting off. Mm. So we tried. That and the other window is just all blew out because <laughs> I went around and around and just all blew out. At least you tried. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> Didn't make it, but... Uh. Yeah, that's a Merlin, 1969 Merlin, Formula Ford. How is this to drive? Amazing. But the, the thing that gets me, once again, like back in the 60s, either side of the roll cage, that's your water, hot water running through there for the radiator, and behind here is the petrol tank. So you're not only sitting on the petrol tank, you've got hot water running down either side if you get impacted into the side. They just didn't care about drivers back then, mate. But it's fun to drive, really, really fun. I bet. I mean, you watch the suspension moving yeah. and everything. When you lock up, you can... Yep, you can see it. You, you, and you can actually, when you drive into a corner, you can gauge your wheels better than when you're just using the steering wheel because you can actually see them. Yeah, it does. If, if I would have cut my teeth on open wheelers, I think I would have been a lot better driver all the way along. But when you go out, if I was to go out and race that now, I'd end up causing an accident for somebody because I'm used to having something around me. <laughs> Let's talk about your Mustang. What's going on with this? It's a 66 with a big banger engine. Uh, Carol Shelby signed um, air cleaner. I've had the air cleaner 
and I take it from Mustang to Mustang to Mustang. It was signed many, many years ago. So when I sell one, I don't sell the, the air cleaner, I just change it to the next Mustang, you know? Yeah, that's better than getting the dash signed or something, Absolutely, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you'd have to remove the whole dash. <laughs> this is cool. But even if you look at the way that the bar and that fits on that, so we've cut it all and pulled it all in, got rid of the bolts that hold the bar, but see how all the sits nice and neat. Usually on a 66, it's sixed out, nothing lines up nicely. So we just made it all fit nicer. It's got to blow off those tires so easily. It does, but I love those tires. I like the, if you've got an old school car, old school tires. What a handful to drive, I'm sure. This is oh, going to yeah. be such a handful. Can we take a look at the engine? Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. There it is. Such a beautiful signature, huh? Yeah. Last but not least, the cab. <laughs> this is a car that we've raced in a lot of places, and it just keeps on going on. It's a fantastic little car, this one. This is all hand painted, all yep, of this? All, all hand done, yeah. I think this is the car we won our first one at um, Watkins Glen in this one. It was an enduro. This one's called Christine? Yeah, that's my wife's name. Such a nice build. Again, what do people say to you when you show up to the racetrack on something like this? They don't believe they're race cars half the time. Because right? everything that I do, I like to do it perfectly. Yeah, if you're not gonna not do it right, why do it? So it, does that come from the fact that you like your day-to-day -day operation is body paint making cars perfect again yeah and no I, I think it's a bit me too I, I like the cars do anything that i do has got to be right yeah and if if you look at porsche's race cars even the latest ones they're building now they're pieces of art so these cars here that i'm building in my humble way i like to keep them as a piece of art as well they deserve it yeah and all the little details even down to the headrest yeah, yeah. Even I, the, I couldn't even imagine, I mean, like, this is one piece of leather on this thing. Vinyl. We've done that seat in vinyl, okay. only because this is left out in the weather. If we'd done it in leather, it'd end up getting wrecked by the weather. Vinyl, it doesn't. It's just like a boat. Have you been to Lufkakult in the US? Yeah, yeah. I went to the one when it was at the movie theatre. At Universal? Yeah, Universal. Yeah, yeah. Patrick Long actually invited me to the one after that. Uh -huh. But we weren't in town to be able to do it, like take a car there. You know, I'd, do, I'd love to do a lot of events over there. Yeah. This, this car used to stay in America for us to go over there and race over there on the East Coast more than anything. But just once it got crashed in Indianapolis, we bought it back for repairs and it's just sort of stayed here then. You know, like. mm. Yeah, I think if you had any of your cars, if you had the radial engine at Luft, I feel like <laughs> people would like it. It would get a lot of attention. Yeah, it yeah. would definitely get a lot of attention. That's why we wanted to take it to SEMA. Yeah, we still might. We, we were going to go to that um, Vegas Rat Rod place as well, do a bit of a thing with them, so. I'm speechless. I just, I, I, I really genuinely am speechless because th this is the cool thing about my job. I just get to travel the world taking pictures of cool cars and car culture and being able to see this. I, I just had no idea anything like this existed. I, that's the cool thing. I mean, it's your passion, you know? Oh, yeah, it's my passion, yeah. It's very humbling, too, that you say that, but it's, yeah, this is my passion, yeah. It is so cool. Just when you think you've seen it all. You know, I've been shooting cars for 20 years. This, this is just something different. You know, you have your own style, yeah. and I, I, I really appreciate that. You're not copying other people. You know, you have your own style that you've created, and it continues through all of your builds. Yeah. And it's very evident. And it makes me wonder what you're gonna, like, are you gonna do that same thing to your Corvette, maybe, potentially? The leather's already been bought for the interior, the interior's been designed, so. You just can't leave anything stock, huh? No. <laughs> the, new, the new GT3 RS, I will, I won't touch that. But Porsche are gonna do my touches on it for me, so that's pretty cool, yeah. Did you already take delivery of that car? No, I don't get it till February. Oh. Because it's a one-off color, my color, it goes towards the end of the line, you know. It's an incredible car, isn't it? Yeah. That, have you driven yep. one? Amazing car. Where are you going to take it first? What racetrack do you think you'll take it to? Probably uh, Eastern Creek. And it's amazing. When I've had every RS that's come out. There's a model over there that Porsche actually made me of the first one. Um, you think, they can't get any better. The next one comes out and think, they can't get any better. Yeah, like, they just get yeah. better and better and better. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Ty Tyler found his favorite thing here. I mean, it's 
this is great. What look is at, it? Look at that. Look at this. Do you know what we've done that for? That's an old film camera, yeah? Yeah, we've done it for this car. Wild. We're this car doing some filming. I'd love to see that. And you were running it? You were actually running? No, no, it was just all. Oh, it's just for fun. Oh yeah. my gosh. What a so cool. Good. Look at how cool. I imagine that's how it was actually done, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. well, yep, it was. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.